and gave out some good news to to the family, and it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> you gave out some of the good news, like the good news, like the good news. Yeah. Like the, the good nice, news. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow oh that's so awesome man all right yeah, cool. thank you yeah How was thanks. The, uh, it was all met with uh was anybody really bu- bummed about it no i'll send you a i'll send you a video it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty good yeah that's awesome man congratulations scott yes thank you thank you yes. <laughs> oh fantastic good morning andrea or good evening to you oh. It's my morning. It's your morning. It is indeed. It's awesome. I saw there's Miss Christina in the car coming on in. Good to see your lovely face. And we even have you a too. Good morning. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And Jack Pinard. Good morning, sir. All right. All right, all right, all right. Last time I had the in the uh, input that I might have made, I just went on a big long rant, and uh, that I should make you guys more interactive. <laughs> so I'm gonna make you guys a deal. I like interactive, but if I've got a rant, I'm just gonna go for it. That's gonna be what we do, and then you guys are always welcome to interject. That's what we do here. That's awesome. Christina's good to see you. Jack's good to see you. Scott, why don't we, why don't we start? We have a little bit of time. Why don't we start with a little check-in just from a few people who just joined us. Scott shared that he shared some big news with his family yesterday. Are you able to tell the whole world here, Scott, or no? You don't want to tell anybody. Sorry, I was having trouble with the mute. Uh, yeah, I, I can share. I just uh, I haven't told a lot of my friends yet, but I don't think they're going to see this. So, um, yeah, my uh, my, <laughs> my my wife's pregnant, so we just found out the a couple weeks ago, and we're just super excited over the moon congrats so amazing congratulations thank yeah. you Thanks. so exciting it is big changes ahead yes sir say goodbye to sleep and but it's the best crazy you'll ever feel oh i'm sure i'm i'm very very excited it's been something we've been looking forward to for a long time so <laughs> That's awesome. Well done, sir. Good, good to see you. Um, you know, Christina, I mean, we I've seen you recently, but I think a few people have not. Do you want to give us a little update? Went up, down on a win, maybe? Um, up. I'm actually pulling up to a walkthrough for one of Alexa's closings. So her and I are linked up now. I'm listing properties for her. So that's super fun. Um down i've been sick for like three weeks i have strap and now i'm getting over a cold and i'm just over it and a win a win would probably be i was just on like a kind of like a coaching call before this like a math coaching call and the guy was such a prick and he makes like millions of dollars and i just peaced out normally i would be like I got to stay and learn from this guy. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I don't have time. He was calling people stupid. I'm like, this guy's going to have a fucking heart attack and lose all his money in a matter of like a year. I got to go. And I just left. And like the guy that brought me into the call was like, where did you go? And I was like, I don't have time for that shit. So that's a huge win for me because I was a wicked people pleaser before. And I would have like hung on him and like, I have to learn everything from this guy. But I'm like, fuck this shit. I don't need your fucking negativity in my life. Good for you. (laughs) Like, it's just so cool to see, like, the people that just don't fucking get what's important anymore and, like, be able to walk away from it. So that's my up, down, and win. That's awesome. I love that energy. Yes. Very, very, very cool. All right. I've definitely had those shares of calls. Oh, my God. It's just like, guy, what are you doing? (laughs) I don't care that you make millions of dollars. See you later. Um, (laughs) But I'm going to be lurking in the background during this walkthrough. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. I've had, um, I joined a bunch of masterminds, as you guys all know, mostly real estate related. And I would say 50%, 40 to 50% of those people are those people <laughs> looking to, you know, justify their ego and validate themselves with all of their units and deals and transactions. And it's funny because there's another 50% in that room 
that are just completely they've already seen like the beautiful light and they're just totally go givers and they'll just give everything that they have which is i thought a beautiful thing so cool stuff um i don't know you know what usually we don't call on people but you know jack you just you look so beautiful today i just want to see <laughs> i just want to see yeah, what Mr. jack well, said uh, in part i guess the up is that i made it to this right because i've been uh I've been up and down and in and out and trying to decide where real estate fits in. Um, but in the middle of all that, uh, we have a flip going on. So I've been like this weird Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing where it's like, I don't give a shit about real estate. Oh, wait a minute. I got to go pick up final flooring. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, over the weekend I said, you know, I got to, I got to kind of rein things in. So I said, well, let's start the week on a good note and, and pull into the uh, check-in. So that's yeah. my up. Um, don't really have a down. Um, my wife and I are working quite well together on this flip. Um, and, and she is now like tracking everything we buy and stuff like that. So she's going to, for the first time, she's going to see uh, everything that, uh, everything that trickles down into, you know, how you end up making a profit. So, uh, so all good. Um, and, um, I guess my win is, uh, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's a big win. And, and the benefit to you is that this isn't even a real estate call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what, that's kind of what, uh, appealed to me. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. We uh, talked a little about right identity shifts and what Jim Carrey calls depressed, right? So a lot of you that are coming in here and for the recording and the replay, um, there's uh, Jim Carrey's become one heck of a spiritual leader uh, in his most recent times, and a few of us have even seen a video that I posted. It was a 15 minute video, and um, it's interesting. He talks about how depression is just your body finally rejecting the role that you've been playing for so long. It's saying that's no longer who I deserve, who I am. It's no longer who I choose to be. And in order to get through any of that, right, we need to go through a period of deep rest, depressed, in order to go through and find who it is we choose to be on the other side. So as an identity shift, it's just funny to relate with you, direct, Jack, directly, right? About uh, 13, 14 months ago, I don't know who it was, but there was somebody who asked me a question about an ARV or a max allowable offer. I just pretty much childishly said, nope, fucking done with all this stuff. Even though people have entrusted me with that and as their role and as their teacher, I same thing as you, man. I'm like, my my body is no longer wanting to play this role. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It doesn't mean it's something that, you know, is a, is a huge. It doesn't mean we have to go and bury ourselves in the sand, right? But it's a beautiful opportunity for you or for anybody who's listening to this and is feeling like this, this is not who I am anymore. This is not who I choose to be. Like, I'm just not happy every single day when I come in. Like, then what is it that makes you happy? And we're just going to go back to two weeks ago when I had this first conversation, right? And as we all discuss, what are the three questions that we can ask ourselves at the beginning of every single week, beginning of every single day, where we know we are in alignment with who we are, right? doesn't matter what profession you're in. It doesn't matter what you do for finance, production, or work. Here's the three questions. How do I show up better for me today? Right? How do each of you show up better for you in this moment today? What can you do for self-love? What can you do to, 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 to show yourself up for you? Number two, who else do I want to show up for today? Sometimes it could be your partner. Sometimes it's your kid. Sometimes it's a friend. Sometimes it's a, it's a teammate at work. Sometimes it's someone on, uh, no one that's related to your work at all. Like it's really, you just get to pick who's the one person that really could use your energy today. And you can show up for that person. And what does that even mean? It could be a note, just a quick little text message, could be an email, could be a video message, or it could be you spending some time planning. Uh, a date night, you spending some time planning a lunch to get together with that person, whatever it might be, with who's the person you want to show up for today. And then number three, what can I do today 
that moves me forward to the path of the most excitement in my life, the most passion that I have in my life. If we can wake up every single day and answer those three questions, that means you are in alignment and everything else starts to flow into your world exactly as you need it to. So I'm going to call on, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, Michelle. Michelle, are you here? You, you're muted there if you're trying to talk. Yes, I was definitely trying to unmute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I was I, here, but I was I was late showering, so obviously I didn't want to be on camera for obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh, that would have been. But I'm here. Illegal. I'm here already. Yeah. You would, have, you would have pleased many people, but it would have been illegal at the same time. So we appreciate. That. <laughs> God love you. Yep. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just no. So we had. You were the fourth conversation that I had last week in a beautiful way, and I just wanted to kind of check in with you to see if you got anything from our conversation or if you've been applying anything there or if we want to ch chat about it again today. Okay. Whoops. Yes. Okay. Now you can see me now. Okay. Now, now I'm decent. So yes, I've been absorbing what you talked about and uh, what we discussed rather. And uh, you know, just trying to, trying to put into practice without putting too much pressure on myself. And that little exercise of the three things I need to remember is super helpful to keep me where I need to be here. Because I struggle with that. Sometimes I spiral, as you know. And um, I just came off a wonderful weekend with, uh, I was puppy sitting for my nephews. Uh, which we never, so we were afraid of the handoff because he's a very nervous dog. So honestly, it was wonderful to get that unconditional love all weekend. And then it freed up my nephews to not have to rush home from Boston and feed him and take him out and blah, 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 whatever. So, but I've been trying to take care of myself. And I've also tried a new um, meditation called the Silva Method. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with that. Yeah, manifestation. So, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so I'm desperately trying to get a hold of this. So, um, so yeah, I'm just moving forward, you know, and trying not to put too much pressure on myself, which is sometimes challenging. So that's the biggest piece, right? By the way, very suitable for Manifest Mondays, the Silver Method. Love that mm. stuff. <laughs> very, very suitable. So, what Michelle and I had chatted about, and which I actually, it was the fourth conversation that I had, which was almost identical. And it's the struggle that I went through. Right. The biggest, biggest struggle that I went through was no matter what we try to do, like now that we have this awakening, we know that we can actually create this life that we desire. Like we know that. Right. We're, everyone tells us that. So we are supposed to know that. And then we have that little voice, that voice in our heads. Right. And, and which voice is intuition and which voice is the inner critic. Right. Mm. And why, why, why for so many of us is that inner critic so goddamn loud right it tends to drown out every other voice that's in our heads including the intuition mm. including our heart including the higher self so when that inner critic starts in on us right and we, we had an exercise uh, i think it was about a month ago right we talked about let's write down every single thought that our mm. brain our mind our inner critic is saying and like who would like if we said those things to our friends and family like would would we have any friends and family that want to hang out with us? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely right? Not. No. And it's it's interesting because as we discussed two weeks ago, right, that inner critic is not even the real. That's just the result of the programming, the computer programs from when we were children, right? The result of keeping us safe, right? If I do this, I will be loved. If I do, don't do this, I will be kept safe, right? By my family, by, I will have new friends. I will be accepted. I will learn this. I will be a straight A student. I can learn and work independently. Well, all of that stuff, right? So that became our program, which became our mind, which then started to have that little inner critic, that little voice that would just pop up all the time. And the learned emotions, guilt and shame are just learned emotions. They're not natural. The natural emotions, right, are love, sadness, right? Anger is a secondary emotion too, right? But feeling those beautiful moments of abundance, of feeling in, included in loving others, of loving ourselves. Love and wisdom are the only two currencies, we talk about this frequently, that we can take with us. So with an inner critic being so strong within our heads, right? How do we get out of the normal loop 
the normal loop that for a lot of us happens in the morning, right? We're woken up. Our mind wakes us up at 435, 536 in the morning, and we start to go through a very familiar thought pattern, right? A lot of us have a lot of things around scarcity, a lot of things around not having enough. A lot of us have a lot of things around not being not being loved or not being not having people that want us around or feel, needing to feel validated by what we do. Right. I'm sharing my journeys. Right. And I, I know that they relate to a lot of you here. So if that's the normal spiral that happens every single morning. How do we stop that spiral? Right. How do we stop the shift and we shift literally shift who we are? Number one is having awareness of that mind spiral and realizing that all the thoughts, we have 90,000 thoughts in a day and 80,000 of those are the exact same thoughts as yesterday. So the mind wants to keep us in the exact same person as we were yesterday. Why? Because it's safe. Because we know that person. Because we know if we do what we did yesterday, we're still going to be around. Because yesterday was safe. We're still here. So today can be safe too. But does that get us to our dream life that we can design, right? <sighs> I'm going to take my own deep breath. Whoever wants to join me, we do a deep breath. <sighs> I've been getting much, much, much better at this, which is why I want to share it with all of you, but it's taken me, it's taken me friggin' 43 years, but it's really taking some deep, deep, deep work these last three years to when those thoughts start to come out, those 80,000 that are the same as yesterday, that go through the same neuro thought spiral, right? We go through one negative thought, which leads us to another one, which gets us to feel this, which means we have another 20,000 thoughts right on top of that. Like just going down this rabbit hole of the normal shit that happens in our brain. But step one is having awareness. Oh, okay. I know this spiral. I know this thought process. I know very, very much because I'm very used to this. It's very familiar to me where this leads. This will lead for the next five or 10 minutes and I'll finally roll into this anxiety and I'll roll into this fear and I'll keep going down this road. And an hour later, I'll try to snap out of it by having you know some water and doing some push-ups and fitness. But I know it's still there and I'm still feeling kind of shitty and it started my week all shitty, right? That's one spiral. There's just so many of those spirals. So number one is having awareness. Oh, I see what's happening in here. My boat is going down this little stream that's now a huge Colorado River, right? We talk about this Colorado River that becomes the Grand Canyon. We have carved that river so many times. It's created this massive cavern, this massive, you know, <laughs> dug in. I don't know. What is it? A mile deep? I don't know what. Grand Canyon is, whatever that is. The orange, the big thing in Arizona, right? That's our brain right now. We've gone down that spiral so many times that it's created this massive stream and then river and then waterfall. And then this, it's now class five rapids. So what do we have to do is number one, oh, we have the awareness. We're starting to go down that stream, which turns into that river, that Colorado River. I know that Colorado River. What if we go this way today? What if we go this way? So brain, inner critic, mind, I see what you're doing. And I love you. I know why you do that, right? You're doing this because it keeps you, keeps me, you think it keeps us safe. But what if today we're going to choose something different? We're going to stick that paddle as hard as we can, boom, right into that sand at the bottom and say, no, 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 no. We're not going this way today. We're going to go that way today. And the brain says, well, no, that's uncomfortable. No, that does, we don't know where that goes. No, there's fear. No, 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 no. We can't go that way. You don't know what over that way means. You don't have no idea what that looks like. We're going to keep going this way. And you pull harder and harder and harder. And you stuck that paddle right into that sand and say, no, no, no. We've made a choice. I made a choice. My heart is leading today. The heart leads. The mind is supposed to follow. The mind does not lead. So today we're going to choose a different path. And we're going to be curious and excited for anything that comes to us in that new path, right? You can say my anxiety is my excitement or I'm just excited to see something new today because I know what this spiral does. I'm going to go over here. And when you have the awareness, 
And then you make the choice, and it is a conscious choice every single moment. Right? I choose love right now. I choose abundance right now. I choose to have everything. I know I'm going to have everything in my, and I need in my life. I have everything around me that is just so unbelievably beautiful. I have a roof over my head. I was always able, if I go back in my life, by the way, and if all of you with any scarcity stuff, if you go back in your life and you can remember the moments that you didn't know how you were going to come out, you didn't know how this was going to work out. And you were scared and frightened and anxious about all of that things. Like, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills next next month or the next week or buy my grocery bills. I want you to remember the evidence that every single time you felt that way, it always magically, mysteriously worked out for you. And why is that? It's because the universe will always make sure that you have. You will always be taken care of. The only time that people feel like they're not is when the mind tells them that they're not going to be. And that's why we stick that paddle in the sand and we say, no, I choose my heart today. I'm going to choose to live in abundance. Everything I've always had, I've always needed has come to me easily. Every single thing that I've ever wanted, right? I've gone on the experiences that I've had. We've had vacations. You know, I have loved ones around me. I, my cupboard always gets full somehow. Like it gets figured out. But right now I choose love. I choose happiness. I choose abundance. I choose passion. I choose excitement. This is what I choose today. And when you stick that paddle in the sand and you say, I choose love right now. I'm not going to choose that. Nope, nope. That's fear. That's scarcity. That's abandonment. Like that's all the stuff. Nope. I choose love. And you take a deep, deep, deep breath and you, you breathe and you smile and you look stupid because who gives a shit what you look like? And who gives a shit what you feel like? You're attracting by just having that choice. You're now attracting everything you need to you in that moment. Everything you need. And as you start to get good at this manifestation piece, now that you choose love and you choose abundance and you choose yourself and you choose everything you could possibly have in this life, now you can start to play. Now you can start to play with what it is that you want your life to look like. Because now you've chosen love and abundance. And now the universe is like, okay, what do you want? Write me up. What's the menu? What do you choose? So words are very, very, very powerful. And I wanted to thank you, Michelle, because you were, again, the, you were the fourth conversation that I had last week. And it was literally the same conversation. And I'm like, okay, people need to hear this. And I know because I needed to hear that over and over and over again. And it only literally took me, it took me probably 18 months mm. to really, really, really figure out what does that even mean? Putting that paddle in the sand. Oh, now I get it. Like, I'm going to throw you off today, brain, right? And here's what we talked about a couple other little techniques, right? I'm going to throw you off today. And the brain says, Oh, I'm stronger than you. You're going to go. I'm pushing you down. The current's already started. You're going down this waterfall today. You're like, no, you know what? I'm going to brush my teeth with my left hand. <laughs> no, I'm going to throw you off, right? I am going to try to do a push up with one hand. I am going to take my big toe and try to circle it over my other toe, which I know is impossible. At least it was. But I'm going to try to do that right now for five minutes because this brain has no idea what I'm trying to do, right? I'm going to throw this thing off. Because ultimately, your heart is what's leading you in this life. Mm. If you all think, you know, 85 years, 89 years, God, it's so fucking short. Mm. It is so fucking short, the time that we have on this planet. There's no possible way that in 13.8 trillion years, we were put on this planet to just fucking stress about something that's going to happen at work tomorrow. <laughs> right you guys might have seen that picture of the big 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 galaxy of the milky there's like all these solar systems right and it's like and here's you crying about something in the shower <laughs> <laughs> it's like beautiful it's like oh it's about perspective it's about perspective so i want you to number one be aware if your brain starts to go down that same path you can have, make the choice in that moment to say, no, I see it and I choose love. I choose abundance. I choose 
to togetherness. I choose connectedness. I choose experience. I choose excitement. I choose passion. I choose all of it. And if we can approach the rest of what comes with curiosity, like a childlike curiosity over, oh, I guess I have to, this is just going to happen now. <laughs> right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for you, Jack, because you get to choose anything that you want to possibly do. Right? And by the way, I'll say this for the record, too. I never thought this would happen. But what, uh, 15 months later, I'm actually cool with real estate again. <laughs> for me but i needed to go through that deep rest that jim carrey talks about i had to go through that whole depression to understand what role i wanted to play and now i get to choose my role every single day i get to choose what i feel like every single moment and the moment the brain starts to do what it does and inner critic we just say no i see you i see you i love you and we're not going to do that right now boom Paddle in the sand. We're going down this stream today. We're going to see what's down here. It might let, lead me to some rocks or it might lead me to a beautiful waterfall. Who cares? It's fun. I'm going to go somewhere new. Right? We had a couple of coaches in town. Um, and they talked about playing the warmer and colder game. It's kind of neat, right? Like, you, you heard that, Michelle, right? Yeah. That was the warmer and colder game. Isn't that pretty cool? It's like, oh, we can make a choice. And like, oh, what if it's the wrong choice? What if it, and I have this problem? I go to, I guys, I still go to restaurants. I have no idea why I do this. I, that is like, the, my life depends on this choice. What if I choose wrong? Oh my God, <laughs> by the rest of my week. is like, why do I even do that, right? That's the inner critic. That's this voice that yeah. I have come up with some story that Nick is never wrong. Nick has to be right. And if Nick is wrong, oh my God, the world's going to end. <laughs> but now I look at that story. I'm like, oh, that's cute. I wonder where I got that from. And once I'm aware of that story, I, I smile and I laugh. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just like one meal of like, what, like 17 million in, in, in my life? Like, all right, I can deal. I guess I will get the salmon. <laughs> so that's, that's, I guess I did do a little rant today. And I know we only have a couple minutes left. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you get anything out of this? Type, Actually, type. I, I have to jump in. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Jump in. And if you guys are, um, you have anything, type in the chat, whatever you've gotten from this too. And if you guys, if we have any extra time, feel free. We'll have you chime in. But type in the chat what you're getting out of this conversation, if anything. Okay, go ahead, Michelle. Um, I thought it was awesome. And, uh, you know, what's funny is, is I, I love that it's, I mean, it's only 930. Um, you probably already said this, but because I, you know, can only hold on to so much right now. Um, I would love to honestly watch this like every day for, you know what I mean? Like, you know, every other day because I need to be in this moment because otherwise I do, I let myself go on the Colorado River. Where do you keep all these recordings? Because I know you're recording them. <laughs> I, think I need to staple this to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to be, well, right now they're in the Life Unlimited Facebook group, uh, but they're oh. going to be posted. And uh, I believe some of you had some, I had a premonition uh, of someone said REI Life Unlimited last week in one of our WhatsApp channels. Uh, and that is going to be, well, there's going to be something big happening to the REI Unleashed Facebook group. Mm. And uh, you'll be seeing that coming soon. So that'll be available for everybody in that Facebook group, the big one. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I thought it was super helpful. So thank you. Because I, I needed to be recentered to let my heart lead because I'm a Gemini. So I live in my head. So it's it's always a battle. Like we're, we're, the, we're in the boxing ring with Mike Tyson every day. So that was super helpful for me. So thank you. <laughs> so you even just saying your words are powerful. My job is to yeah. point out words, right? I'm a Gemini. That's you accepting yeah. a label. That's you accepting yeah. a label. And that what right. does that label mean, right? Oh, Gemini. That means that, okay, well, if you choose, right. if you choose that to be the case, then yes, you are. Right. right. But you get to it's choose. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's all yeah. about words. Thank you. Yeah, I told her she's no longer allowed to say that she's an alpha female either because it has a negative connotation to it. That's yeah. right. she's, she's been good about that. Yes. Okay. Although you did introduce me to it, we agreed together that we weren't going to do it. Yes. Of course. Yeah. I haven't yes. been using that connotation in a long time. We're just <laughs> strong women. I love that. We're strong women. Strong I women. love it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Strong women. I like that. Yep. I do too. And words words have meaning. Some people might some people might need to say that they they want to say alpha female because they have a positive connotation. But it's all about what meaning we give to the words, right? So I love that. But if you guys 
I, I know you both directly. So strong women. You are very <laughs> much strong women, for sure. Hmm. You guys are crushing things. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. You got Jack Kennard. Love relating to processes as a stream. I know. I know. I, I, the Colorado River, man, like that's me. Like that Grand Canyon was so entrenched in my brain for so long. That's what I was like. I got to share this. Like it came to me in a meditation. I'm like, I got to share that. And then that pat on the sand, like if it, literally I have a visual when I start mm -hmm. going down that, that little, that spiral, I literally push, I have myself pushing that paddle and I hit the sand. It's like really hard. Like I can feel it. And that's when I smile and say, no, I don't choose that today. I'm choosing this. I choose this. I choose this. And when you get there, the, it's a practice. And it's just interesting that literally it's moment to moment. We get to choose, right? We choose the thought, which then chooses, which then has our, a feeling associated. And thoughts become feelings, become actions, right? And we are what we do. That's where the habits come in. That's where the micro routines come in. That's where it's like, who do we want to be in three years from now? Well, we get to choose every single moment. And we don't even have to. The funny part is we don't even have to wait the three years, right? We can choose today. But because we're human, a lot of us like to have incremental steps to get there. Yeah. Good to see a new face on here. Joe, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, good stuff. All right. So uh, warmer and colder game. Yes, Scott, that was a good one, too. That was our coaches that brought that up. I thought that was great. It's like not a life deciding choice. Like, oh, warm. It's just, this makes me feel really good. We're going to keep doing this. This doesn't make me feel as good. Eh. We'll go big, but then let's let's course correct. Let's pick something else, right? Let's go down a different stream. So I love that. 9.32, I want you all to start your day. Actually, I take a, let's all take a deep breath thing together. <sighs> and we can, whoever feels called, you can repeat after me. I take responsibility for my life and everything in it. Today is a brand new day, and I get to choose moment by moment. Today, I will choose myself. I will choose self-love and to show up for me today. Today, I will choose love. Today, I will choose complete abundance. Today, I'm going to choose excitement. If I have any fears, I know that my fears are actually just excitements in gift wrap boxes. My anxiety is my excitement. I'm choosing moment by moment how I live my own life today. My friends and my loves, Choose love, choose abundance, choose connectedness, choose experiences. Remember, all we take with us in this life is love and wisdom. Money doesn't come with us, and money is just energy. It comes and it goes, and we vote with it. But besides that, choose love, choose abundance, and know that when you do so, everything else that you need is just going to be attracted to you this week. Everything you need, better partners, better private money, better deals, right? Better the groceries. Everything you need is going to be fair for you. The universe is already provided. So you get to choose. We're like kids. What do we want to do today? What do we want to do this week? Amazing. I love you. Uh, I usually would say, go fucking get it. It changes the, the energy, though, when I say it. So I'm going to say, go, go, go smile and just grab something cool this week. <laughs> Thank you. Love Nick. you all. Love you. Thank you. See you soon. Next week, same time. <laughs>